everyone. It's kind of a stormy um, Wednesday evening. I don't have very long tonight. I've got to take my kids to their uh, youth activities. So, um, and I have been trying to hike every day. If you've seen all the pictures on my personal page, I've been trying to hike a lot um, to get healthy again. Uh, kind of hibernated for the winter and uh, now is the time for me to get back into shape and round is not the shape that I mean um I get a lot of people asking me why they should even hire a bookkeeper which I think is kind of an interesting question um, and the answer is because your time is worth something your time is worth something and it's valuable and you only have so much of it and hopefully you're if you're a business owner you're spending your time doing one of two things one is you're using that time to build your business um, you are um, making more money um, working on your business finding customers creating your brand um, by the way I have people <laughs> I know people my people can talk to your people and I have great uh, contacts that can help with all of that. Um, but that's what you should be doing. You should be putting systems and processes into place. You should be developing your clientele. You should be um, doing those things that make you money. That's the first thing you should be doing if you own a business. The second thing is you should be spending time with your family because if you have little ones, um, my little one, my littlest, <laughs> littlest one is now 14 and bigger than me, so um, time flies. I swear, it was last week he was like the size of a loaf of bread and now he's 5'5 five five almost and still growing. So, um, and then my second youngest uh, is counting down the days till she can get her driver's license. So, like I said, time really flies and I really think that if you are... If you are a business owner, you have to spend time building your business. It's this kind of the thing. You have to do that. And why would you want to spend time doing your books when odds are pretty good that it's going to take you much longer than it takes me because, I one, I enjoy doing this. Two, I've done it for years and years and years. And three, this is how I earn my money. Um, so I know um, I know most accounting software backwards and forwards. I have yet to been thrown a loop on it. Um, even as far you know, as far as learning how to do it, I, I I have yet to meet any sort of accounting software that I can't figure out very quickly because I understand the the principles behind it. So I really do know what I'm looking for. Um, I'm I'm certified in about three different softwares and. Uh, looking at some more, and basically there's 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 nothing that you can throw at me that I can't handle, and do it quickly and easily and faster than most even other accountants can do it. Um, partly it's because the way I am, I work very fast. I always have. I've worked myself literally out of jobs before because I got the work done so quickly that they didn't know what else to do with me. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. Um, so why would you sweat over bookkeeping for hours and hours? Um, I had a client for a long time that said she was up till two in the morning every night doing her books until we kind of came to the rescue for her. And I thought, why, why would she spend that time, that precious time, doing her books when she could have been, well, sleeping comes to mind at 2 o'clock in the morning, or spending time with her kids, or spending time with her boyfriend, or spending time doing things that she really enjoys, or working on getting more clients for her business, or um, taking the time, and it's, this is really important, take the time to relax, recreate, recreate, um, and rest, and recharge for the next day why would you want to ignore those very important things to do bookkeeping and in her case she hated it she was constantly frustrated by it um, another reason to hire a bookkeeper is that odds are pretty good once once you get bookkeeping off your plate 
especially whether you like it or not. I mean, whether you enjoy the process of bookkeeping or not, most people don't. Um, most business owners find it overwhelming. They tend to kind of vapor lock on it. Then they go to the what I call the geological method of organizing. You know, the old stuff is on the bottom of the stack and the new stuff is on the top and they just don't know where anything is. But, oh, it was six months ago, so it must be towards the bottom. Um, most people, to be honest, I mean, let's be honest here. Most people don't enjoy bookkeeping and the ones that do are already bookkeepers and accountants. Um, most people, I mean, if you're a public speaker, you enjoy speaking in public. And if you're a salesperson, sitting down behind a desk is going to be like fingernails down the chalkboard for you. It's not fun for you. It's not enjoyable. Why would you spend your energy doing something that you don't enjoy? So I would suggest that you go out and you hire a bookkeeper, hopefully me, because I am just fantastic. Uh, and if not me, then I can recommend a fantastic bookkeeping company um, that's also local. Um, have, have an outsider do your books. Don't have your spouse do them. That causes problems. But have an outsider do, do them. We can bring a fresh pair of eyes. We can bring a fresh perspective to your business that you probably haven't thought of. Um, and it may seem like we're reiterating some things that you've heard before, but we're looking at it um, with a different perspective than you have as the business owner. Most business owners are very emotionally invested in their business, and as a result, they're very emotionally invested in their money, which is totally understandable. But at the same time, as a bookkeeper, I... Well, it's kind of stretching to say that I don't care because I do. I love my clients. I want them to be happy and successful and make plenty of money and do the things that they love to do. That's what I want for my clients. But as far as their money is concerned, I don't have those emotional um, ties to it. I can tell you that they don't add up. And I can I can go back and say, you know... I'm concerned for you because I, this is what I'm seeing your cash flow do, or I'm concerned for you because I'm seeing you eating out three or four times a day and you don't have the cash for that, or I'm concerned for you because you're spending your sales tax money. Um, I certainly would do that, but at the same time, I'm not living your business the way you are. I'm not uh, worried about not sure that's entirely true. I am worried about my clients. I worry about all of my clients, but it's a different kind of level of worrying about my clients. I'm not. I'm not quite sure how to explain it. Um, I worry about my clients because I want them to be successful and I want them to do well in their businesses. But if they make decisions to close their business or to move elsewhere or some of the things that people choose to do because it's best for them. Um, Yeah, I'm not even sure I, this is going to make sense when I repost this. So, um, but I'm just going to say it doesn't. I don't have the same emotional attachment to other people's money that I do to mine, uh, or that I, you know, do to my business. And that's human nature. Um, what I can do is I can tell you what I see, but since I'm an outside bookkeeper, I don't have final say on anything. Since I'm not the business owner, I don't have final say on anything. I can just provide. Um, suggestions based on the experiences that I've had. And I have seen businesses grow to the point that they don't need an outside bookkeeper anymore. They need an in-house accountant. And I have seen them completely collapse because they didn't want to listen to my advice. And it's usually pretty good advice. Um, so hire a bookkeeper. Hire a bookkeeper because your time is precious and it's too important to spend that time doing things that you don't enjoy. Hire a bookkeeper because you want to see your business grow and succeed and you need their outside perspective. You need their advice and you need their experience that you just don't have. Hire a bookkeeper because with a separate fresh set of eyes that doesn't have the emotion on your money, we can give you some seriously good advice to help your business grow. And also, um, I have people that I know that I refer business to that 
that I think are, are great. So even consider hiring a bookkeeper because you need their connections. Um, don't let your spouse do it. Can't tell that enough. Hire a bookkeeper. Um, I'm going to try to be back at 6 o'clock. I, I need to be way more consistent with this, but the, the frustrating thing is that at 6 o'clock, I'm either out hiking, that's my form of recreation lately, that's my workout. I keep trying to do that at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm just not conscious at that time of day. It's just um, not happening. Um, although it continues to be my goal, I, I, I um, ambitiously set my alarm for 6 o'clock every morning to go up Grove Creek, and then I oversleep by two hours. Um, if anyone has any thoughts on how I can um, actually force myself out of bed to go hike and so that at the end of the day I, ha I can take care of some of the other things I need to do, uh, please comment below because um, uh, my bed and I have a really close relationship. We, we totally sleep together and it's hard to leave. Um, you guys have a great night. I gotta go pry my son off of the PS4 and make him go to Boy Scouts. So have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.